I am going to present the article on modern Israel that begins from 1948 is now come to an end. But the real Israel history with theocracy and a monarchical system is to begin here with. Written by Mr. Abraham M. T., known as the Man of the East, the only revealer of the last day messages and the interpreter of Messiah concept to the Jews and to the world. Now let us see the article itself. Modern Israel that begins from 1948 is now come to an end. But the real Israel history with theocracy and monarchical system is to begin here with. The parliamentary democracy for the total world is only for the full span of a generation, so it is completely over by now. Book according to Prophet Ezekiel chapter 21 verses 26 and 27 speak. Thus said the Lord God, remove the diadem and take off the crown. This shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low and abase him that is high. I will overturn through the first world war, overturn through the second world war, overturn through the third world war, it, and it shall be no more, until he come whose right it is, and I will give it him. Who is this man with such right? Book according to Prophet Daniel chapter 4 verse 17 speaks, This matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and from now setteth up over the global kingdom the basest of men. Hereafter new history and new age. Herewith the new history and new age begins with the great city Jerusalem from the center of the earth as the global capital of the hereafter beginning global government. To know about the particulars of this anointed one who is set over the global kingdom from this generation. Book according to Prophet Isaiah chapter 40 1 verse 2 speaks the man that is raised up or stirred up from the east 2 book according to prophet Isaiah chapter 41 verse 25 speaks the Lord did the action of rising up one from the north of the universe and as the result he comes from the rising of the sun that is from the east. 3. Book according to prophet Isaiah chapter 42 verse 1 speaks. Thus his spirit is placed upon him so that this anointed man shall bring forth judgment in this last day. 4. Book according to prophet Isaiah chapter 42 verse 6 speaks. The Lord said unto him, I will give thee for a covenant of the people, and so the light of the Gentiles. 5. Book according to Prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 6 speaks. You are my servant globally to do the following three things. Firstly, to raise up the tribes of Jacob from throughout the world. Secondly, to revive and restore the already arrived preserved Jews in the land of Israel. And thirdly, I will also give thee for a light unto the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation, the last day salvation and everlasting salvation unto the end of the earth. 6. Book according to Prophet Isaiah chapter 41 verse 27 speaks, I say unto Zion, Behold, behold the Israelites, and I will give the messenger to Jerusalem as one that bringeth good tidings. 
7. Book according to Prophet Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 11 speaks. Calling a ravenous bird from the east, the man that executeth my counsel from a far eastern country, from Jerusalem. By seeing the above seven biblical proofs, particularly from the book of Isaiah, the Messiah of Israel comes from the east of the world, that is from the far distant eastern country from Jerusalem. Book according to prophet Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 2 speaks, Upon whom the Spirit of the Lord rests as the Spirit of wisdom, of understanding, of counsel, of might, of knowledge, and the quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. Book according to Isaiah chapter 11 verse 10 speaks. This one that is called as the root of Jesse, we shall stand for an ensign or banner of the people to such one that the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious on Mount Zion. The unique information from Psalms. Book of Psalms, chapter 80, verse 17 speaks. Let the hand of the Lord be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the Son of Man, whom thou madest strong for thyself. Almost the total Psalms of 89 speaks of the mystical David of this last day, especially from verse 20 till 37. Book according to Prophet Zechariah, chapter 3, verse 8 speaks, The Lord's servant of this last day, the branch together with the men of wonder, enter into Jerusalem immediately. Book according to Prophet Obadiah, verse 21 speaks, As the Saviour's shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. From then the kingdom of the Lord of heaven begins on the earth. Thank you. Thank you.